Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the absolute best tool that's on the market right now for Facebook audience targeting and for finding, finding those hidden interests when you're creating your Facebook ads. Whether you're a small business owner or an advertising agency and you're just looking for better interests to target with Facebook, I think this is going to be the best option for you guys on the market. Now I've been doing uh, Facebook marketing for several years now and I've used a ton of different tools and I always keep coming back to this one because of the price number one, it's super affordable. It's a one-time payment they don't have this you know subscription model that you have to pay for every single month so let me just dive into what this tool is I'm gonna give you an overview and then I'm gonna show you how I use this to find the audiences so here is what this tool looks like this is the when you log in this is the screen that comes up so it's super simple to use there isn't any complication to this process the very first thing that you're gonna want to do is connect your Facebook account um, to this tool so when you click on this button it says connect it just gonna it's just gonna be a login screen that uh, you authenticate with and then it's ready to, to rock and roll the next thing you do is you come here and you look for interest that you want to kind of target. So one thing I want to tell you before I show you how this works is that there is a settings uh, button here. And this settings button allows you to define your minimum and your maximum audience. And it also filters by different languages. So they've got a list of a bunch of languages that they support. But for now, we're just going to keep it this way. So let's say that you are in the waiting industry or your target market is in the waiting industry, maybe brides, grooms, you might be a flower shop, you could be a photographer, anything related to that industry. And you're looking for people to target. You can just type in something like weddings or wedding. Um, and this tool is going to go out and find interest related to this category. Now, what comes up here is the actual interest itself that can be targeted, the audience size of that interest, and the topic. This is more of an overarching category. So, for example, this one is under news and entertainment, etc., uh, and then the search that you did. The other thing that it shows you is filtering. So maybe some of these show up and you've never heard of them before. You can click the Facebook uh, icon here and it's going to open up the Facebook search. It's going to search for that uh, term that you typed in there, or that category, and it's going to show you if it's relevant or not. It's going to show you the actual page that you could target along with a bunch of other stuff. The same thing with Google. So let's say you know you, you want to do more research on this uh, on Google just to see what kind of company this is or what kind of interest it is. Uh, you can click the the G here, and it'll it'll pop up you know what that interest is and what that category is. And from here you can even dig deeper into this process, which is actually pretty cool. Um, the other thing that I want to show you here is that there when you get to bigger audiences, you know audiences I think above. You know, I don't know. I think it's above 500,000 or so. There's this magnifying glass. And what this magnifying glass does is allows you to filter and dig deeper into this specific audience. Now, I'm going to show you how this works now. So, let's say that I've got 68 interests um, that I target here. And normally, when you type in um, weddings, you know, in something like the Facebook uh, detail targeting area, you type in weddings. You get a suggestion of things, right? But you only get 23, I believe, 20 or 23. You only get those. And every one of those people who are using the same category gets this sort of, um, this sort of, um, uh, these these options basically uh, and that's kind of how it works now if you look at this you have 68 in here and a lot of those options that you saw there were not available you know here um, within uh, or not available within the Facebook tool so to select a category I'm simply gonna just highlight that and I'm gonna say okay I, I'm interested in that one I don't know if you could see but it kind of highlights that line in blue uh, I'm then gonna just click on another one another one inside weddings I don't know four weddings what that is I think it's a movie but then I'm just gonna keep going and I'm gonna pick others that I think will will um, will be within my target audience right there so let's just say you know white wedding that's it so I've picked these and the tool actually highlights that selection in here now let's say that I find a big audience and I'm like oh I want to dig deeper into this audience just to kind of see what what it is like um, let's say maybe cake decorating so I click the magnifying glass the tool will automatically dig deeper into that audience Wilton cake and decorating um, and it and it goes out and it finds 
other related things that are um, possibly targetable uh, for your uh, for your uh, project there okay now now once you've picked your categories you've selected the categories that you want to target it's gonna put them in this selection box in here from here you can save this as a project uh, you can actually name a project weddings or whatever you want you can add it to an existing project if, if you if you like but usually you're saving a new project uh, every time and then what you'll do is you go to your project section here and you'll see your the name that you gave it and you'll click it and what this does is it brings this this uh, screen up where then you, you're allowed to create layers so basically if I choose if I choose all you know select all my categories in here um, I can go ahead and create layers and basically I can add one layer I can add two layers etc and I can tell this to distribute man you know randomly um, or I can you know specify by small audiences a big audience etc so that's what happens there from here I can just copy it from the clipboard and go straight into my ads manager to the detail targeting section and paste it hit enter and all those categories are already targetable in there those interests are already there now if I choose a different layer for example this bottom layer I'll do the same thing I'll just copy that and I'll come back here and I'll just say you know narrow audiences and hit enter and then my audience for weddings will be there that means that people who like these must also like these here making my audience super relevant so anyhow this is a great tool to have uh, there's a link in the description of this tool if you guys want to go ahead and snag that up like I mentioned I use it personally for pretty much all my projects uh, you guys can kind of see um, that I've got like a ton of projects in here that I use it for so I keep adding and adding to these projects and then creating new ads uh, for my clients using these they give us pretty darn good results so how I use this though I do want to share with you guys how I use this what my strategy is uh, for using a tool like this um, is, is typically I go and I have two ways of using this tool number one is I like to pick small audiences okay I want to go ahead and look at this and I want to pick small audiences so if I am I'm gonna go ahead and clear this selection let's say you know weddings if I click on weddings in here you see that I've got audiences that are really large in here that have you know massive amount of you know people so what I like to do is use two strategies the strategy number one is I I use small audiences so I use a lot of small audiences right so like this one only has 3.8k 3.8k people um, I like to use like small audiences here's another one uh, stub center they do a lot of weddings so this is like a big wedding venue I would definitely target wedding venues um, I would look at all these small ones right I'll look at all these small ones um, that I've got in here okay and then I would do another search for you know something like you know wedding rings or wedding venues or something which will give me more categories and then I pick a bunch of small categories a bunch of small audiences I would put those audiences in one project and then I would go to my Facebook Ads Manager and I would I would put all the small audiences in one section there that's small audiences the reason for that is because a lot of big advertisers always go after the huge audiences like the big ones and I like to target I like to make my audiences big by targeting a bunch of small ones initially just to kind of test things out the second strategy that I use is quite the opposite I go very broad I go and I try to find the largest categories that I can find the largest audiences uh, from from this, this list and then I stack those against the small ones so I go I find all the large ones and then I also say that if they like these large ones they must also like these smaller ones uh, and then I target that and see which one performs the best so anyhow guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video again if you want to check this tool out the link is in the description you can go ahead and snag it like I mentioned before I use it for all my projects uh, my clients use it for a lot of their projects and it's by far the best tool for finding audiences the easiest one to use uh, in terms of tech um, and the most affordable that I've been able to find online that's actually accurate so give it a thumbs up if this was helpful uh, go ahead and check out the the tool with the link that's in the description and thank you guys for watching